We're going to start off by going into the homepage, and Shirase is asking you, so you've come to learn about fighting EX Lair, eh? And the first thing you're going to do, if you've never learned about Fexel before, you're going to go to the basics, look at what is Fexel. It's going to give you the history about its origins, you know, the development, um, all the updates, the major updates that have come to the game itself, with trailer footage, of course, it's really nice. Uh, I'll give you a brief gameplay overview to kind of summarize how the game kind of plays. You can kind of uh, maybe look to other games as an example. Uh, and you can click on the links at the bottom to take you to the next section, basically that are all listed here. So if you want to skip a section, maybe you already browsed through here and there, um, you can check through the attacks, the throws, uh, the other mechanics of the game. It tells you about supers, for example. It gives you little gifts here to explain all the different situations. See a nice clean layout of information here. Uh, if there's any issues or questions that you have or any suggestions you have, you can uh, always email fexelguide at gmail.com for any feedback or comments. Uh, if you just want to say, Geki, please take a shower, you can do that too, of course. Uh, you can check out the combo section, which is probably the bulk of Fexel, so there's a lot here to explore. Uh, it talks about the shared normals amongst the cast, it talks about uh, chains. Uh, using change with links as well, uh, basic, basic combo structure that will be universal across the cast, um, using unique attacks and such, and also talking about juggles, how the juggle system works, because it can be a bit uh, interesting and unique compared to other fighting games that have different juggle rules like you know, Mortal Kombat and Killer Instinct, how they uh, just have a free juggle state, and at any point you can hit it, in Fexel it's a little bit different, um, so you can take a look at that. Um, once you get past these sections here, um, you can pick a look at characters and take a look at all the different characters that we have in Fighting EX Slayer. You can look at Terry, you can look at Alan, you know, you can see the propaganda that he spouts. You'll learn basically what kind of playstyle they are, what kind of archetype, or what kind of character they're similar to. Um, you can look at their strengths or weaknesses, uh, play if, avoid if, all the points here. Uh, you can see the recommended Gogi decks as well. And once you click on that, there's links that take you to the deck to explain how that works and, you know, kind of. Uh, a breakdown of the play if and avoid if section as well and suggestions and it even gives you tips with like gogi decks or with gifts on how to use said gogi deck um so it's gonna be useful for anyone trying to pick up the game trying to experiment and uh, figure stuff out it gives you a list of key normals uh key special moves or supers in general uh, and it gives you a few combo examples to get you going just some basic routes you're going to explore obviously there's variations to all these so um feel free and also some tech so some unique little properties that the game doesn't tell you, like Justice Fist being able to blow through projectiles, so quite useful at times. Uh, it gives you also a general strategy as well, and then lets you go to the next character, of course, and go through that way. Um, you can also check out the strategy, so once you're more comfortable with the game, I recommend this section to you guys. If you're finding there's certain things you're struggling with against players, uh, you can go into strategy, and it'll tell you about the neutral in Fexel, how uh, different things can affect it as well. Uh, also some strats for dealing with the most common uh, situations, like dealing with run-up low, uh, how most people play this game. Uh, with like neutral jumps, let's say, for poking it with a normal that goes over lows, or using a backdash to space out a whiff punish, right? Uh, yeah, teaser you about Okazemi, blocking on wake-up. I do explain the terms of Okazemi, so if you're not familiar with fighting games, I do break down the lingo a little bit here. And of course, it talks about the most important feature, or one of the most important features, is the advantage display slash frame data. Uh, there is a frame data uh, spreadsheet in the resources section of the website, but this is a quick, quick and dirty way. <laughs> Excuse me. Woo! This is a quick and dirty way to uh, basically figure out how to turn on the uh, advantage display, which shows you what's plus, what's minus basically just represents it through colors of the word reversal. So basically when you're setting the opponent to reversal on guard, it'll show you a different color based on how advantaged they are. Um, yeah. And then finally you can check out the Gogi decks as well. They're organized like a character select screen, so you can choose the one that sounds interesting to you, review them, of course. And you can also track the events that are happening in the Fexel world. So all the tournaments that we have are stored on this uh, calendar here. They're not all past events are removed, but all new events that are upcoming, like today's Suga series, number 13 was right here. So you can click on that, follow the links here. It has the uh, link to sign up, and it shows you all the details as well, seeing like uh, you know what platform is it on, 
uh, you can open up the full thing and take you right to the challenge link to sign up, which is the one we just had. Uh, perfect. And finally, the resources section, if you want to dig a little deeper, let's say you want to look at some tournament footage, let's say you want to look at some official Arika links, you can see their official website for Fexel itself. Um, it does have a menu or a manual on the website itself, so you can check a, take a look at that. Um, it has their Facebook page, their Twitter, uh, the Twitter for Mihara-san, who's one of the main programmers, and also Nishitani, who uh, created Street Fighter 2. He, he created Fexel. Um, also community links as well, that are necessary, so the Discord that you guys can join. Uh, also the Japanese Discord, uh, the Facebook group, the Reddit for Fexel, so however you guys want to interact with the Fexel community, you can do so through here. Uh, tournament footage and content creators, so basically links that just take you to my channel, uh, the Japan arcade scene, uh, the Fexel community in Japan, uh, Ketchup and Mustard's page, also Hidden Gems, some great uh, character tutorials, and some streams that you can check out that run Fexel quite often. Uh, even the tournament streams here that you can see, like the one you're watching right now, and our easy stream. And also the frame data at the very bottom. So you can have the frame data for the main cast and then also the, for the DLC characters as well. Um, so if you have any issues, you can talk to DNice or myself. Uh, let me know if any of the links break at any point, but all should be taken care of. And uh, yeah, there's some brawls for sure. It's definitely fun. And finally, to put it all together, so what I recommend when you're first learning the game. Just take it at one page at a time. Just pick the the game is a universal system based fighting game, so a lot of the stuff you learn with one character will carry over. So take it slow. Just you know, learn one combo, one punish, right? Just like take these two combo examples, like one that uses meter, one that doesn't use meter, um, and just start with a simple chain, and then maybe a link combo if you want to, or just do two different chains. Totally up to you and uh, pick a deck that sounds cool and just kind of experiment from there, practice these fundamentals of the attacks and stuff like that and you'll be golden. If you have any questions you can always ask in the Discord, we're always very helpful and wanting to educate everyone so please reach out.